Well, welcome to another Rider Camp TV video. And as you see in front of me, we have Mr. Mark. But more importantly, what he's got by side of his helmet is this Cardo Edge unit. Both got them fitted to the bike, uh, fitted to helmets. And we'll show you how we fit them to the Scorpion and the next Villiard helmet when we stop. But we're at Pendennis Point. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. Mark's having to listen to this. So what we're gonna do is we've found a place that is about a mile and then about a mile and a half away from where we are. So Mark's gonna ride off. We're connected by a DMC. And I gotta say, even Mark was impressed. Weren't you, Mark? Give us an impressed face. He's saying, this is my impressed face. Now we haven't got the technology to record the conversation that we've got because we don't want cables and stuff all over our helmets. However, we're connected via DMC and we got the app open and my app was connected to my card via Bluetooth and I literally went into DMC and within two seconds it had found Mark's cardo and I pressed it and it connected. So what we're going to do is Mark's going to ride off now and get to about a mile and then see how we can talk, see how far it is. So there he goes, off into the distance. Can you still hear me, Mark? So Mark is about, what, 300 yards? And he's gone down into the foliage. Are you there, Mark? Ah, so I've just got group connection lost. So that's probably about half a mile that he's got. But if you look at the, it's not in line of sight. It's around corners on a cliff, surrounded by trees and a whole host of different stuff. So there he is. Can you hear me, Mark? About half a mile. Yeah, so DMC is really good. So if you've got lots of people in a chain, one of you stops, the rest keep going. It finds its own natural way of connecting to the next rider that's close. Now, that was a bit of a test, wasn't it? So let's ride together for a little bit, Mark. Because, like I was saying when I was coming to find you, that we're by the side of the cliff, undulating corners, covered in foliage. So there wasn't line of sight and we were perhaps pushing it a little bit too much, weren't we? He said he thinks so. So what, what we'll do is I'll sit at the junction with the main road that goes along the cliff. I don't know, is it Cliff Road, something like that down in Falmouth? And on the left, Gillinvays Road. So on the left hand side, you'll see the seaside and we'll watch Mark go off into the distance, see how far we can talk to him. Yeah, I stopped just by the junction here. Yeah? And then I'll um, wave you off. Bye. So as you can see, Mark is off into the distance there and we've got a really good line of sight all the way down the road. Can you still hear me, Mark? Okay, so about five, six hundred meters. Is it really good quality, Mark? No, got no crackling my end. You can see he's just disappearing into the distance behind that silver van. Yeah, how far are you away now, do you think? Yeah, so about three quarters of a mile all the way down the side. And when Mark's talking to me, I can hear him crystal clear. And likewise, he can hear me crystal clear. So you could just see him now. It's probably about a mile away now, aren't you? Uh, 
Okay, so he's just gone round the corner. He said that it was crackling up a little bit. Mine was perfect, the sound. So can you hear me now, Mark? Yeah, so he can still hear me. So judging by that speed, he's probably down by Gillen Bay's Beach, which is a good, probably a good mile and a quarter, mile and a bit. And that's exactly what they say on their on their system and group connections just been lost so let's see if we can find them so that's a good mile and a quarter something like that i mean that's a good distance i mean you'll see the fact that i'm doing this distance now to see if i can find it and there were lots of obstacles now bear in mind you know when you're out riding with buddies friends whatever you call them over mountain passes and stuff you're not really going to have this distance between you you're probably always going to be in line of sight no matter where you are with them so i mean that's spectacular i mean this unit is ah it's just connected so whereabouts are you mark Ah, there you are. No, just coming up to you now. So that was probably about a mile and a quarter. Now, what I did like about it, Mark, was that when we disconnected, it said group connection lost, but it just seamlessly connected again and you just started talking. And I was, yeah, and I was saying, because you were saying to me that it started crackling as you went around the corner, but I could hear you plain as day. And out of a tiny little unit that's stuck on the side of the helmet, to get that distance is immense. With no aerial. Yeah, and Mark, Mark, I don't know whether you've got that in the, on the, the camera, but Mark was saying if we had three or four riders, like I was saying, Mark, when we're off riding or you're off touring with your buddies and stuff, you're never really out of sight or you're just around the corner. But if you've got, like Mark was saying, three or four or five or six buddies that you're riding with, they're always going to keep your connection, aren't they? But I, I think, I mean, Mark's just saying about the quality of the sound, but the quality that I'm getting in my ears. Now, the difference with using the speakers is we might have been able to put the microphone up next to the speakers so that people on the video could hear, but we use the in-ear from Ultimate Ear. Best things ever to ride with a bike. Don't you agree, Mark? He's just said yes but it puts the sound right into your ear, but it also means that we can't record the conversation we're having, but we've just been speaking and talking about the quality of the sound. And I, I really quite impressed that the unit is such a small unit and it's providing such good quality. Oh yeah, do you want me to hold that for you, Mark? Oh, no, hang oh. on, just, just a minute, I was just gonna do this. Yeah, there's a difference. What? Well, yeah. look, at, look at that. What, the oh, scratch on it, you mean? Look at all the scratches on that one. Well, so, only, well, it only happened a few minutes ago, but we're going to talk to you about the Cardo Edge, Pack Talk Edge. How good are they, Mark? I've got to say that I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. So we've been out riding, you would have seen the distance that we've got. And what was the quality like? Well, the quality from you to me was really good actually no dropouts like a bluetooth no washing pans and stuff that sort of echoey sound or anything it washing was... pans i know sometimes on bluetooth i've had with mates and stuff going along and it sounds like someone's washing pans in the background or there's interference nothing at all with this you weren't all, in the kitchen there? then no i wasn't okay. in the kitchen but really really good quality it was like it? being on a mobile phone so explain to us mark explain to us from a technical person's point of view, what that was like. It was like being on a mobile phone. Yeah. Is that technical enough? Yeah. There was no, um, interesting thing is, when you're on a Bluetooth connection, when somebody stopped talking, you can still hear their incessant breathing. That's why I don't use it. I don't connect to other people when I'm riding because you get that constant, I don't want to hear somebody breathing in my ears while I'm riding my bike. Well, not unless you want them to. Well, you know, and yeah. the chances of that happening are very, very slim. So. On this, it's like when you stop talking, the microphone just gets switched off. 
I don't know whether that's a thing. Well, there's, a, there's, um, well, there's noise no cancellation on there. It's really good, isn't it? It's amazing. It's like being on a mobile phone, but when you're not talking, there's no background sound. Yeah. So the pots and pans, I don't know, isn't that a, somewhere past in the peak or Yeah, it's some road that everybody flocks to. Right? It's overrated. Don't go on it. It's boring. It really is. Full of motor. We're going to get haters for that. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Anyway, so getting back to this. So... When you lose connection, it tells you you've lost the connection. So you're not going, hello, yeah. hello, it hello. It just goes... Group connection lost. Lost. But then when you come back in, it tell, you don't get told you've come back in, but it, it, it's like you're aware. I don't know what it is, but you're aware you've got back into the distance. Yeah, something again. changes, doesn't it? I don't know what it is. So we got, we set off and we'll be able to, you'd be seeing on the film how far we got. I reckon we're about a mile and a quarter, but... Yeah. It wasn't an easy mile and a quarter. You no. could probably get, say, they could probably say two miles in a straight line. We were out of sight, up and down hills on a on a coastal road before we actually lost uh, contact. And then when you came back in, the communication, it's not fading in instantly. It's there, perfect, yeah. perfect communication. So I really liked it. And i tell you what I did. Uh, we'll turn the camera yeah. around. Tell you what I did. What did you do, Toby? Well, on our ride back, after we'd done our filming of the distance, because the distance is really important, and when Mark was saying, you know, it wasn't just a straight line, it was like that, underneath trees, over hills. At one point, I got stuck in, at red traffic lights after you'd just gone through, on the green, obviously, um, but they turned just for me, and you'd gone over a hill, down a hill, and round a corner, and that's where we then lost connection. That's really damn good. Urban riding is really hard. I mean, it's yeah. there's no straight lines anywhere, is there? But that was really good. But what I did on the way back was I went, hey, Cardo, music on, and was listening to music. I wanted to see what it would sound like having music and talking to someone. And I found it actually a, a pleasurable experience. A revelation. A revelation. I was listening to the music, and then when Mark talked, the music felt, I don't think it did, but it felt like it dulled the music down a little bit but didn't reduce the volume it's hard to say it like dulled the volume down a little bit mark's voice came in we were chatting about that stuff when we weren't chatting back to the music seamlessly but the music didn't stop the music carried on all the time in the background but it was a nice background background sound i thought it was really good and i tell you what we did the royal british legion thousand miles didn't we around scotland we did yeah what an amazing trip However, I used the Cardo Edge all the way around. I left it on for 24 hours, well, 23 hours and 15 minutes. Did, I, did we mention that we no, did it no, 23 did, hours yeah, and 15 yeah. minutes? So it was on all the way around. We weren't communicating, but I was listening to music all the way. I'd left it on when it was on the helmet, when we'd stopped for, like, we must have stopped, what, for two and a half hours all told? When I turned it off, guess how much battery was left on it? 25%. No, 50% was left on it when I stopped. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know how that's happened because that's exceptional. I mean, you look at the size of that, Mark. That's tiny, isn't it? I mean, my hand. I can measure that for you, mate. Actually. Oh God, here we go. There you go, so that is, oh, give us a, give or take three about, inches. By about an inch and a half? Yeah. It's really thin. The magnetic mount is something else because a couple of times um, I had to restart the unit because this is, this is the only downside to the Cardo systems that I've found. DMC, really good. Lose connection, back in connection. You can use Bluetooth on the here as well, but why would you use Bluetooth that's got less of a distance, more interference when you've got DMC? DMC is definitely the way to go. And this is the first unit I've ever used with DMC. But riding along, singing along to the song, suddenly it goes ringing last number. I'm like, no, <laughs> Cardo, stop, Cardo, hang up. <laughs> Sometimes your voice. Um, it must be the timber yeah, in your when, voice. Yeah, when you're talking to it, it just doesn't get, it just doesn't do anything. Um, so I had to turn it off, turn it back on again, and then my partner's on the end of it going, you're right. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't mean to ring you, bye. <laughs> Which is really, really odd. So other than the tiny handful of instances where it decides to ring people on its own, um, I think it's exceptional. The app is really good. 
So you go into the app, you connect it to this, it finds it, so you connect the Bluetooth to this via your normal Bluetooth settings, go into the app and it finds it automatically, really quickly. Then you can set um, rider to rider, both Bluetooth and DMC, you can do the radio, you can um, play your music through it, so it kind of becomes a bit of a bridge between, for me, Apple, Ma Apple Music and the Cardo thing. But the voice assistant, really, really good. So, hey Cardo, volume up, volume down. Um, hey Cardo, music off, music on, works really well. And the one thing that I have found is that... How do you answer telephones on it? Just go, hello, or answer. Hello, in that kind of voice. Well, hello, <laughs> hello, you're through to Toby's, Toby's work phone. <laughs> He's not here at the moment. No, so, um, you put me off my stride. What was I talking about? I don't know. The app is, I was yeah, talking the about the app. Really, really good. So we went into the app. I had mine connected via Bluetooth to my mobile phone, the Edge to my Bluetooth phone. Went on to DMC. It started setting up the DMC group. You were in the list. I tapped on the list. And before I knew it, Mike was saying, oh, I'm connected. Oh, what's going on there? It was really was quick. that an impression of me looking confused? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Who's talking to ooh. me? <laughs> it was really quick. I've had really pro real big problems with connecting Bluetooth device to Bluetooth device headsets. So much so that I just ride on my own and just listen to myself. But DMC, I think it's a really, it's just so quick. They have also released an update. Oh. So you update this via the app. When it connects, it says, oh, you've got an update. Update, you need to make sure that your phone stays on and it updates this over Bluetooth or the connection you've got with your phone, which I find really good. Doesn't take very long, but the latest update means that you should be able to connect seamlessly to Sina devices, oh. not just Cardo devices. Now, I think with Sina, de Sina devices, Interphone will also make them, don't they? Yeah. Or they've got, so they're in bed with them, aren't they? Yeah. So it should connect really well to them. And one of my associates, Harry, has got a another cardo the freecom 4x or something like that and connecting to him is as seamless as connecting on dmc but using bluetooth not great distance really crackly but wow what a bit of kit excellent get yours from our affiliate links you might well get a discount as well check out the links below get a discount buy through our affiliate links because it gives us a little bit back you don't pay anything extra in fact with our discount link you might get a discount just saying, We're hit that, doing. hit that button. The subscribe button will be somewhere. We'll see you in the next one because we've got many more videos about these sort of things. Come.